In kindergarten and first grade, the students learn about fractional parts and partitioning shapes into equal shares. But in second grade is when they begin to write fractions. So we talk about the numerator and the denominator. Um, they begin to be able to write a fraction to represent a shaded part on a fraction. And they use fractions um, as far as equal parts and unequal parts. They're identifying those. And they even are asked to partition shapes into equal parts. So that's something that you know is a little new for second grade. I used this review game at the end of the unit to really identify the students that you know were able to write a fraction and identify the numerator and the denominator. So it's really it makes it easy for the teacher to quickly identify students that might need extra practice with a certain skill. So third grade, we really start to teach students how to compare with um, common denominators and denominators that are not common, which then will lead into equivalent fractions and they'll see a lot of those in fourth grade. The lesson today was about um, three children who had some pizzas and each child had a different portion of their pizza left. Um, so the students use their fraction bars, which um, shows fractions how they represent to the whole. So they use the fraction bars to find which fraction was the most, which fraction was the least, and then had to make comparisons. One half plus one half. Three flips plus three fifths, or two, two fifths plus two fifths plus two fifths. Today's activity was called I Have Who Has, and it was kind of review of improper fractions and mixed numbers and how to convert between the two. And we did this activity to review what we've learned previously, but also in order for students to be able to do all of the fifth grade fraction skills, add, subtract, multiply, and divide, they need to be able to turn mixed numbers into improper fractions and vice versa. This is new for them in fifth grade because in fourth grade they only work with common denominators when they're doing operations with fractions and they have to be able to do this before they get to sixth grade and seventh grade where um, where they're working with negative numbers and they need to be able to convert all of their mixed numbers into improper fractions. Mm -hmm.